Hello, Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. We're going to jump into a little bit of logo design, but I have to say that the main focus of this lesson is actually uh, mathematics. So uh, currently with year six, we're looking at uh, transformations, flips, rotations, uh, reflections, and we want students to get a better understanding of those kind of geometric location um, maths concepts. So what we're actually going to do is going to do that through a little bit of design. So what I'm going to do is just bring in a shape here I go here, just bear with me while this assembly app goes through. I'll make it a little bit bigger. And basically what we can start to do before we get into that creative mode is say to our students, okay, our logo design, uh, let's say it's a new logo for McDonald's or a new logo for Nike or something like that. But we can actually dictate and set some parameters that it must have um, a transformation in there, must have a rotation in there, must have a reflection in there. And what our students can start to do is if I do some duplicates here and make an, a duplicate here, we can start to get our kids that are actually doing their logo design, but actually starting to bring in some different aspects of mathematics with it. So I might just do a little join that up there. You can see there that I'm starting to play around uh, with some different things. I might actually do a little bit of a flip there. I do it back to front so it actually goes there. Um, I could do a full rotation uh, that shapes behind. Uh, what I could do is actually do a whole one here, bring that over here now, and I can actually start to build my logo design that's actually based on something slightly different than what we've actually done. You can see there it's starting to look really, really good. Um, so we can actually play around with colors and do those different things, but if we look at logo design as something that has to involve different maths that we're actually studying, and then we can actually say, um, I don't know, I might just quickly uh, take a screenshot of that. And we can actually bring that into something like, uh, let's bring it into Book Creator. So I'll get out of here for a second and go to New Book. We can actually get our kids to actually talk about their designs in regard to mathematics concepts that are actually used. So if I actually bring that in, what we can actually do there is start to look at the students actually bringing in an arrow, for example, we might bring in a shape, uh, we'll get that point to it, turn that around, make that a little bit longer. And we can get our kids talking about those maths concepts, those reflections, those rotations, those transformations actually in their logo design. Um, and so it's just a great way of students actually thinking about the kind of the design make a praise process, but also get them to actually acknowledge the different mathematical concepts that they're actually using in their designs. So that's just a great way. I know in Australia, it's the year six curriculum. It really looks at those different um, those reasonings and those um, geometric and, and locations. Uh, so it's a great way of kind of, in, uh, I guess, um, integrating those maths concepts with the arts and also tech design as well. Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly, signing off.